In this quick start guide, we learn how easy it is to deploy Helios solutions in a virtual machine using the Helios Virtual Server Appliance. Server virtualization is the technology that enables one or more virtual machines, or VMs, to run on a single physical server host. It is a flexible solution to isolate server applications from different vendors and to enable each to run within their optimal operating system environment. There are many advantages to using VMs, including easier maintenance, failover support, and greater security. Helios UB2 server solutions running within a VM are flexible, highly available, and easy to transfer, enabling server consolidation, energy savings, and isolation of services. The Helios Virtual Server Appliance is a turnkey pre-configured VM ready to import into the major VM platforms VMware, Citrix Zen Server, and Microsoft Hyper-V. The Helios Virtual Server Appliance is optimized as a file and print server to serve Windows, Mac, and web clients. The included Linux guest OS is highly optimized for performance and security. The entire VM solution is fully supported by Helios, including the Linux OS, so there is no split of responsibility. And it's a free runtime with no additional licensing costs. In addition, the Helios Virtual Server Appliance includes an advanced LVM, a logical volume manager, for managing the file system. So let's get started with installation. First, of course, be sure to read the README file and have the manual handy for reference. Use the Import Appliance menu to import the Helios VM disk image into your VM system. This is a matter of a few clicks and a few minutes. You can then launch the Helios VM, which will start the Linux guest OS and the Helios networking services. That's how easy it is to install a high-performance cross-platform file and print server into your network. You can see that the Helios Virtual Server boots into a console mode. Initial setup is performed using the Helios Configuration Assistant via the console on the server or remotely via SSH. Subsequent Helios administration is performed using the Helios Admin application from Mac, Windows, or Unix clients. Here is a quick tour of the basic configuration options. First, we'll use the console to view general setup and the network settings. Entering I shows the configuration summary, including system resources, storage, and network configuration. Here you can note the IP address for remote login. You can also see the installed Helios products. If you need to change any network settings, do so within the console window, as a remote login could get disconnected. Let's look at the network summary. For other settings, it is convenient to use a remote SSH login using the IP address noted earlier. A quick tour of general setup shows the options for password, keyboard, and time settings. On the Helios Services menu, we can see the status of the Helios services that are pre-installed and up and running. You can also enter a Helios license here and stop or start the Helios services. Menu option 5 makes it easy to shut down or reboot the server and also to list active users. Now we get to the most important option, number 3, Storage Setup. Server Storage Configuration and LVM, Logical Volume Management, 
can be very complex. So the Helios Configuration Assistant was carefully designed to provide an easy, menu-based method to manage the data volume group, which is used for data storage, and its partitions, called logical volumes. When new physical storage is attached to the physical server, you need to use the VM platform, VMware, Zen Server, or Hyper-V, to recognize that storage and assign it to the Helios VM. You can then use the Helios Configuration Assistant to import it into a volume group. Here is the Stored Setup menu. First, let's list the physical disks comprising the data volume group. In this case, those disks are SDB and SDC with a disk size of 4 GB each. I recently installed two additional hard disks, so let's add them to the volume group. We now have 16 gigabytes of disk space in the volume group. But we need to extend the logical volumes to make that space available. So let's extend the logical volume data 1 by 1 gigabyte. Done. Now let's add another logical volume. We can name it Data3 and allocate 1 gigabyte of space to it. You can also specify to share this logical volume as a Helios volume for Mac and Windows users. Enter, Enter, and Done. Without shutting down the system, with no service interrupt, you can increase the volume disk space, including increasing the partition size and increasing the file system, in one easy step, without any service interrupts. This is very impressive. It's just as easy to remove logical volumes as shown here. Done. To review, the Configuration Assistant allows adding disks to a volume group as well as creating, extending, or removing logical volumes. The Advanced Storage Setup menu allows managing other volume groups. This is useful to list all the volume groups or perhaps to add more space to the root volume group. Most users will not need to add additional volume groups, but if needed, they can do so here. Also on that menu is one of the most powerful and advanced features of the Helios Virtual Server Appliance, the ability to easily create and manage snapshots of logical volumes. A snapshot is a special logical volume that is a virtual copy of another logical volume at the moment the snapshot was created. The benefits are very significant. Snapshots facilitate creating backups and allow retrieving files that were subsequently changed or deleted. For example, earlier today, I created a snapshot of this network volume that I am working on. Here are some critical files that I need to send out. Oops! I deleted them by mistake. Fortunately, I can mount this snapshot volume and retrieve the files there. My day is saved. So that is a brief overview of how to deploy the Helios Virtual Server Appliance and easily perform low-level storage management. The next step is to use Helios Admin to set up network volumes and print queues. The result is a turnkey file and print server ready for use by Mac, Windows, and web users. Two other videos provide more details on the Helios Virtual Server Appliance and are available on the Helios website. 
Additional videos provide details about using Helios Admin and introduce Spotlight Server Search and WebShare Remote File Access. The Virtual Server Appliance Datasheet and Manual are also on the Helios website.